Happy Saturday, everyone. Let everybody get on here. How is everyone today? Let's see, gonna find myself here. Alexa, volume four. Come on, everybody, jump on. Where is everybody? Hi, Robin. How are you? Of course. I come on in the dog's room. Shh. Hey. Hi, Car. Who else is on? Hi, Carol. How is everyone today? Yay. Hello, brother. Let wait, wait and let everyone jump on. Hi, Rhonda. It's me? Yeah, you. Hi, Peggy. When you jump on, please come, come in, say hi, and let me know your, where you're from. I would love to know where everybody's from. I talk to some of you all the time, and I don't realize where you're from. So come in, say hi. Hi, Jamie. Thank you for the loves. Hi, Janet. If you guys would be so kind as to share this, because remember, this is day five of 30 day challenge. Chicago, welcome Chicago. Florida, oh, that's right, Jan Janet, that's right. Aubrey, Texas. Mike, is that anywhere near our families? New Jersey, thank you for sharing, Janet. Boston in the house. There we go. In morning. What? Last time I looked, it was about five o'clock here. So I don't know about morning. God, you're, don't confuse me. The last couple weeks have been a wild, just wild when it's been crazy. Typo. Okay. <laughs> Okay, everybody, thank you for jumping on. I certainly appreciate it. I am going, let me turn something off real quick because these, this will make me crazy the whole time. I'm part of a, um, a group that it seems like they have nothing better to do but chat. So I'm gonna turn, watch out, watch out. I'm gonna clear this so you guys can see. Hi, Michaela. Okay. We are making my favorite uh, keto brownie recipe. And um, when we first started keto, this was one of the go-tos. And as you get into keto more, it seems like those cravings for sugar and carbs just go away, especially the sugar, you, that you don't even want it. You know, you don't even care about it anymore. So this was one in the beginning that was our go-to, hi, Charnel, that we would go to um, and it's really good hot. I like it warm better than cold. And so the next day and the next day, it lasts for days. So we just take, you know, a, a, it's like a bowl this big and we would put it in, put it in the microwave for a few minutes, pour heavy whipping cream on it, or you can use whipping cream. So good. You just, it's like, it's like naughty almost. Okay. So what is in this? We've got Lily's chocolate chips, and Lily's I get, it's getting to be warm, so I don't know if they're still sending chocolate, but I get it from Vitacost. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that okay? I get it from Vitacost. Uh, Sprouts has it. Um, it's a lot cheaper, and, and Amazon has it, but it's a lot cheaper when you buy it at Vitacost. A lot cheaper, like $3 off, seriously. They're not cheap, but they're yummy. Put them in your pancakes, you make chocolate chip cookies out of them. Swerve, my favorite. Is that helping or hurting? Swerve is my favorite for um, for baking. It is a it is a blend. Is that okay, guys? Can you see that? Hi, everybody coming on? Because that's not better, right? Okay. So we're gonna use Kerrygold butter. And this calls for two-thirds of a cup of grass-fed butter. And that is about 
almost 11 tablespoons. Hello, Barbara. So we're gonna put this in here in our, our bowl. We're gonna put the microwave. It calls for the double broiler. Hi, Kim. Um, but we're gonna, today we're going to, um, as you guys come on, say hi, please. I appreciate it. And share if you would. Remember, there's a contest and there's prizes. So I like prizes. Okay. So we're going to take the butter and the chocolate chips. And the chocolate chips are six ounces. So the neighbors are having a get together. And Penny, the loudmouth, who is like 82. Penny, 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 she has about five teeth in her mouth, but she has hearing like radar. She can hear a footstep across the street. Penny, hey, and then there's Paisley, who's half deaf, who goes, gets started when she hears this high pitch. Sorry, guys. Hey, okay, so we're going to put this in the microwave for a couple, I'm going to do it. I have a melting element here, but I'm just going to do it for like a minute and a half. Paisley, Paisley. You can do, um, you can do a double broiler if you want. Hi, Mary. Who else is on there? Hold on. Flour. We use one and a half cups of almond flour. Right? Right? This is a good recipe, but it's kind of like all over the place as far as, um, as things in order. So, I'm going to call for four eggs. So I'm going to take the flour. Egg, salt, and sweetener. Okay, so we're gonna use two. I'm scattered today, y'all. We're gonna take two cups of the Swerve. And Swerve, again, uh, I get that at Vitacost Cheapest. Hi, Megan. And then uh, I think they have it at Sprouts. More, more places are getting it, and you can also get it on um, Amazon. It's a lot more expensive on Amazon. So I am using Two cups. How is everybody today? Hi, Sherry. Happy anniversary. I can, at 39 years. That makes me feel really old. Really old. Sherry and I went to high school together, and she's been married 39 years. I don't know that I've done anything for 39 years except breathe. <laughs> it's a long time, Sherry. That's awesome. Okay, so two cups, which it seems like a lot, but it's what it calls for. Okay, two cups there. The other thing it calls for is vanilla, Himalayan sea salt, and um, it calls for an espresso, but I use coffee from this morning. And champagne. Okay, we have melted our butter and our chocolate chips, and that was that was a minute and a half, so that's good. My in my microwave seems to be slower than others. I'm. Where are you guys going? This is good. This is exciting. Where the heck are you going? Stay with me. Egg, salt, and sweetener. Okay, salt. It asks for. Where's my salt? Oh, half a teaspoon, okay. I'm scattered today, y'all, scattered. Okay, half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt, and you know me and my Himalayan salt. No, it's not gonna be enough. So I just grind my sea salt. I have an electric grinder, but um, they seem, or battery operated, they seem to last about three weeks. So 
just ordered some more and an extra because they we I guess we use them so much they poop out I don't know what it is has anybody ever had that problem still not enough okay we're just gonna throw it in there is swerve yes swerve is an excellent replacement depends on what you're doing uh, I there are a couple that I like there's a monk fruit there is I like if I'm making like fat bombs and stuff, I'll use the convection sugar. So the monk fruit is Lancanto. And then um, the brown sugar I like is, um, oh gosh, Sucrin, S-U-R-K-I-N. It's, it's still like we're making like chocolate chip cookies or something. It's got the texture of real brown sugar. So it's not that gritty. You know what I mean? How brown sugar is a different texture than a granular sugar. So I like, I use that all the time too, like if I'm making brownies or something, no, chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up with the eggs. And we're gonna stir the espresso, which is a tablespoon of espresso, but um, I'm putting, but I'm using just coffee that was left over from this morning, which is interesting because I've been using all my coffee. We're gonna add a dab for special measure. This morning I didn't, and I didn't even know I was doing this. So grass, I mean, uh, cage-free eggs. I like to use cage-free eggs, organic cage-free eggs. And this is this is a brand that everybody can get. It. It's um, Eggland's Best. I know Walmart carries it, so I think I picked these up at the at the lake. Um, if I'm at Walmart, I buy Walmart's organic. I prefer to buy, you know, fresh eggs, but our closest farm's about 35 minutes away from me, so it doesn't always happen. Okay. So we're just gonna mix this. It might get a little loud for a minute. Talk amongst yourselves, ask questions. I'd love to answer any questions that you might have. We're gonna beat this until it's light and fluffy. We've got um, our, our chocolate and butter mixture ready. And then we're gonna add in um, vanilla and the almond flour. Almond flour is a cup and a half. I've already measured it out. Hello, Lori. Do you guys have any questions while I'm mixing this? And I hate doing these lives with mixer, but sometimes you just can't avoid it, you know? What lake do you have our house put on? Isn't Lake Powell an antelope in Arizona? The grass-fed butter makes a difference because it, um, because we don't want grains in keto. Um, they're inflammatory, and a lot of us have allergies that are, a lot of them are undiagnosed. I didn't know, but I have celiac. So because I have celiac, I, I choose not to eat grains. I, mean, I don't eat white flour, I don't eat, I eat corn occasionally. A good source, Peggy, is in my VIP group when you become a customer of my, of my keto group, of keto, you're, you're added to that. So there's good information in there. Not that hard, guys. It's common sense in a lot of ways. Read your read your packages. Uh, find out where the carbs are hidden. Find out where the sugars are hidden. You want to stay very low sugar. It's almost impossible to be no sugar. No way. Really, Haley? We're on the uh, the new dock in in, in Waiwi. We're not in Adelaide. Did I say Adelaide? We're in Waiwi. Um, and we're there a lot. Hi, Julie. No, they're not. And, you know, nobody even talked about ketones until Prove It came out with them. We have the science behind it. Um, and we have the only bioavailable ketone on the market, meaning your body is going to absorb it like you naturally made it and you're going to pee out whatever you don't need. Um, and they use different salts. So we use the highest grade salts 
that your body's gonna metabolize and be able to use and put you in ketosis within 59 minutes. So, that's good. Hey, Heather. Okay, so we've got this mixed uh, with the eggs, the salt, the sweetener, light and fluffy. We're gonna add the vanilla, and it calls for, the way that they have this recipe, this one also calls for almond extract. I'm not an almond extract fan. Hi, Maria. Uh, but, so I'm not putting it in. I added that little bit more coffee for the liquid, but um, if you wanna add it, great. If not, I am not a fan. So, I, I never have been. Anybody else not an almond extract fan? I remember one of my favorite cookies when I was a kid um, called for, not my favorite cookies, but a, there was a cookie that I, I couldn't eat it because it had the almond extract on it. Okay, I don't like the way this is set up. So we're going to, okay, okay, chocolate mixture and then, okay. We're going to gradually add in our chocolate. For those of you just coming on, we have six ounces. I've heard that Joanne a lot, as if she's about 20 years older than me, other than that, it's good. I think she's 70 something now. No, I'm a big follower, I'm a big fan. And, um, you know, she introduced me to bioidentical hormones years ago, and it's been, it was life changer for me. Life changer. Um, and she's got such great information. All of her books, I've read every book that she has. And um, she she's really done a great job. Um, and you know, years ago she had talked about not mixing, you know, about low carb and not mixing the proteins with the carbs. Um, I got on again, is the keto sharing from GNC? No, it isn't. Oh, okay. I didn't know that you missed it. Um, no, it's not. Ke uh, Prove It was the f really the first company to come out with ketones. And um, we have the only bioavailable ketones on the market. So that means that your body's going to absorb it just like you were making your own ketones. And if you, if you consistently stay on ketones and you do a keto or keto-ish diet, um, you will stay in ketosis. So um, you're gonna get the max benefits from doing so. Does that make sense? Okay, we're gonna do this on low, it says, to blend in a little bit at a time, blend in the chocolate and the butter. Try what again? Ketones? I don't know specifically about that brand. I know about our brand, and I know we're the only ones that have uh, the patent for the bioidentical. And it just gets better and better and better. I mean, seriously. Uh, they just, it's not like they said, here's a product. Here, we're good. You guys just keep buying it. No, we keep making it better and better and better. Now we have DNA repair, which uh, is called AC11, that's in our products. We started out with the OS products, which are, hi Patty, which are the, um, oh, no, no, are the orange dream and the chocolate swirl. And then they came out with even better. So, uh, and all are, um, all but the, the cream and the orange are dairy free. They're all gluten free, sugar free. So, um, and it's, it's, it's like one day you wake up and you go, where the heck has this been all my life? Why haven't I gotten ketones yet? So it is, it's, a, it's a life changer, it really is. Oh, <laughs> sick and scared, don't be scared. I'll hold your hand. Hi, Morgan. Okay, we're almost done with adding this. Do you guys have any questions? Thank you for all the questions and all the love. I so appreciate it. And I so appreciate you being here. No, don't stop. There's nothing to be scared of. And I'm here to hold your hands. 
I think if any of my customers are on, thank you guys. If any of my customers are on here, can you um, speak as to how our group is, how I am about responding to your questions? Morgan, it is yummy. The new lime, y'all, is so good. If you like, it's key lime. But it's not really tart, like key lime, you know what I mean? It's not too tart, it's not too sweet, it's very light, it's perfect summer. And I think it might be good with some vodka in it, just saying, maybe, just a little bit. Although I did try that once. But I think I had too much vodka and I drank it too fast. I passed out for three hours. So, that's not a good plan. Okay, so we're almost done. Nice and fluffy and pretty. Now we're gonna add the, um, you guys wanna see this? I'll try. Thank you, Joanne. I appreciate that. Okay, so isn't that pretty? And they're so good, guys, and I don't know if you're just coming on. When you, it, the next day, if you add, um, if you, they last for, for a long time. But if you heat them up in a little bowl, kind of like this, that's like, we'll just take a big square, you know, of it, and then pour heavy whipping cream. You don't even have to whip the cream. Uh, if you want to do the whipped cream, you can. But it's like ice cream on top, but it makes it creamy and gooey and so good. I just, I, Doug's still at the lake. He's coming home tomorrow, and um, I was telling him that I was making his, um, his favorite brownies. He's like, I'm coming home. Okay, I'm reading your, your questions here. Explain Reboot. Perfect, that's a good question, thank you. So, Reboot, and I shared it on my page, and, and Coach DeBoer will explain it much better than I do. Oh, thank you, Barbara. So, so what the Reboot does, it's three days. You start on a Sunday, and we all do it together, so there's I think there's tens of thousands of people now. I mean, I think we're in the 40 to 50,000 range, people that do it every day. And not necessarily, you don't even have to be on ketones first. I do suggest you do it for a little bit more of a detox ahead of time, but if you don't want to, that's fine. Um, so on, you start on Sunday with our Keto Calm. So you go to bed, take this. It's it, our chocolate, it's like a hot chocolate. And then we have an, um, I'm trying to think of what it's called. It's an apple. It's, they call it a tea, but it's really not like a tea. You drink that fruit of bed. It helps really relax you. And then the next morning you wake up and you drink um, a ketone. I like to drink it hot. And, and, I, and in the kit comes raspberry lemonade. That's the only flavor. But you can exchange what you have. But I like it hot. Um, <laughs> um Okay, sorry, look at those questions. I should just pay attention. Um, so I like my hot lemonade, I like the hot lemonade in the morning because it makes me feel like I'm having coffee. It's only ketones and water and sea salt for um, 60 hours. So then, the then for lunch, you're gonna drink our bone broth. We have two flavors and you get two flavors for each day. So you can mix it up if you want. And then um, uh, around three o'clock, four o'clock, you're gonna drink your decaf raspberry lemonade or whatever you have. And um, then you're gonna have another broth for dinner. And then you're gonna drink another keto calm uh, at night. And then you're gonna repeat that on Tuesday. Wednesday morning, you wake up and you're done pretty much. I mean, it, it goes till nine o'clock. And then, then you can ease into eating again. Um, that's what they suggest. And, and I know Dr. Heather has it chia pudding that she suggests they talk about eggs but what a reboot is going to do is literally deplete you of all all the bad crap in you right so it really is like rebooting a computer program right so um coach Tabor can explain it much better than i can and it is on my page if you want to listen and he is the nicest guy i got to meet him at keto academy and um nice and i made him blush 
I because I told him how awesome he is, so I made him blush. But he's really good. Thank you, Christine. How are you? Okay. I'm gonna just finish mixing this up. It's a little thicker than I thought it would be. Or I remember me, or maybe it's because it's sitting here while I'm talking. Okay, any more questions? So check out my page from Coach Jabor, uh, Coach Rob. He is the one that has pioneered this program. He's a fitness coach. He's done this for years and years. Uh, without ketones, he's done a 60 hour fast. Um, what it does, it's not just about fat loss, guys. It's about literally cleaning out your organs. And you're gonna go through a detox. Um, for me, I didn't go through any bathroom issues or anything because I've been on ketones for so long. Um, but you know, some people do if they haven't had ketones or if they're, if they're still drinking ketones and still eating crap, um, they'll have more. You wanna move in with me? <laughs> I'll be on the houseboat. So this next week, my son gets married to his love on Friday. And then, so we'll be in South Carolina for the wedding. Uh, and then um, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the final stretch on Deeper Yet, the houseboat. Doug's gotten a lot done, it looks beautiful. I Hopefully he's gonna post some pictures soon. And it will be listed for sale this week. So anybody know, you know, wants a houseboat in Lake Powell? There you go. And everything's new. We don't, we don't do this half arse. We put in new appliances. This, this one, see how I have um, double refrigerator and freezer here? Um, that's what's in our houseboat. Not even the million dollar houseboats have those. So we're really excited. Um, I, you know, it's, it's fully loaded, new bathrooms, new toilets, new showers, um, three bedrooms. So, and then, um, and then it, so it sleeps eight, 10 ish. It's awesome. <laughs> and what a lot of people do with houseboats is they do a joint ownership, a lot of people. Um, when we looked into doing that, we're like, you know what? We really, really, we take our dogs and not everybody wants dogs on your boat and then you have allergies and it's a whole thing. So that's how we started. We started um, with a boat, you know, that we could afford and, and not have to have partners um, because because we, we take our dogs and that's why, that's why we have a houseboat. That's our vacation. But I mean, we do spend a lot of time there this year, um, you know, and, and the beauty of it is that I can work, Doug and I can both work there, you know, from the boat. So I earned my car bonus on the boat. No holding me back, right? Okay, hi everybody coming on. Okay, this is done, y'all. I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter in here. So this is gonna bake, with, what they suggest is um, what this recipe, and this recipe I got from when I first started keto. Hi, Diane. You're rocking, girl. Um, when I first started keto, there's a group, Complete Keto, which, you know, there's a lot of good information, but they're complete assholes, sorry, about ketones. I mean, complete jerks. You can't even mention the word ketone, they will throw you out of the group. But I, I stick around just to get some good recipes and stuff. And this one is a good one. And um, I don't participate much in that group because it's kind of hard to keep my mouth shut. Imagine that, me, keep my mouth shut. Impossible, right? So um, he suggests uh, the, the guy, Harlan, that wrote this recipe, or shared the recipe, I don't know if it's his recipe, um, that we put it, we heat the oven to 450 and then turn it down to 400 once um, you put the brownies in. That's high. On convection? 
450 on convection. So the first time I made it, I think it was crunchy around the edges. And then he does say this in the recipe that he likes it crunchy around the edges. I don't like it crunchy around the edges. So um, I'm cooking mine at 400. I heat, preheated my oven at 400. And that's where it's gonna stay. I like them ooey gooey, and I like them right out of the freaking oven. I mean, seriously. I will just take a spoon and put it in, you know? So, if you don't like crunchy around the edges, don't listen to this recipe, that part of the recipe. Just saying. And so you can put as many chocolate chips, and then we're gonna top it with chocolate chips as well. You could put a cream cheese frosting on this to die for, right? If you wanted to add a cream cheese frosting, which when, um, in the olden days, when I made brownies, which my kids loved, I would make a cream cheese um, frosting for the top, chocolate cream cheese, and it was amazing. So um, you could do that. I, I, I bet that if you were to serve these to, to guests, they wouldn't even know that they're keto and sugar free. And Cammie will be down here in a minute asking me, are those sugar free? <laughs> she wants to do a live with me, guys. She said the other day, she said, I want to do that. So we may do that. She may clam up too and it'll be not very entertaining, but I'm thinking maybe Grayson and, and Cammie and I'll do a live tomorrow. I've got, I'm going to watch the boys in the morning while their mommy, um, my grandsons, while their mommy and daddy go on a little day date. So Grayson is a ham. He loves the camera. Hi, April. Okay, this is done, y'all. Was that hard? No, it wasn't. I just like to talk a lot. If this has been done, you know, sooner. I'm just gonna get this off of here. So as far if you wanted to put a, if you wanted to put a uh, frosting on this, you would use the convection, the swerve convection, there's sugar, and then you would um, you would add your cocoa or cacao, butter. Um, and cream cheese and vanilla and just mix that up until it tastes good. That's my standard uh, recipe that I've used forever and ever for a um, for just a regular cream cheese frosting that like literally like I've used forever. And so I just improvise with the, the powdered sugar and the butter, you know, and the, um, the, the sugar free sugar and swerve and then I um, Add the cream cheese, you know, I always add a cream cheese and butter anyways. Yes, ma'am, I'm gonna post the recipe. Grayson is four, gonna be five in October, going on 15, seriously. And this boy loves ketones. Megan said, um, Megan said that she found, when, when every time a box of ketones hits the house, he, it's like an opening ceremony. He can, he's like, oh, I want to try that one. I want to try that one. So kids can have ketones and maybe prove it is working on a version for kids. Just saying. Don't, you didn't get that information from me. Just saying. Um, but he, so the other, Megan said she found a box stashed in his drawer. So he, he would make sure that he had it. He drinks decaf or uncharged. Raspberry lemonade is his favorite, um, like his mommy, and he's, he's adorable. And now Nixon, who will be two in September, uh, was throwing a little temper tantrum the other day because Megan wouldn't let him have it. So funny. Yeah, I think we will. So I'll just, um, whether it's be, you know, out in the, maybe we'll make something together. Grayson loves to cook. And I have those little silicone, maybe he'll let, let, help me make some fat bombs. Uh, the silicone molds that I use for um, the fat bombs, he fell in love with them and carried them around the whole house when he was, when he was here. And then, so I bought him his own. And you would think I sent him you know, a pony. He was so <laughs> excited about getting these little silicone. Uh, he loves to play kitchen. Ooh, really blue? I mean, what's the blue come from? Fat bombs? I know I've done one before and be 
I don't make any other than the ones that, um, you know, that I've made on live, which is the peanut butter. So it looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup. It's so good. I, and I haven't made any in a while. I took them to the lake and I haven't had any and I've been meaning to make them, but that's, that's another, um, another reason to make them, right? And I really, really, really do enjoy them. Um, also enjoy Lily's chocolate. If you haven't tried Lily's chocolate, it's excellent. You can get it at Whole Foods. Um, I've been getting it at Vitacost, but it's probably too hot now to ship it. Do you guys have any questions or any suggestions for, um, for something in the future? Some kind of, you know, what you would like to see. Hi, Lillian, how are you, babe? Debbie? Is there anything special that you'd like me to make? There's a turkey cooking for the dogs. Try finding turkey this time of year. It's not that simple. It really isn't. Hi, Janet. Any questions? Any questions about ketones, about recipes? That's a good idea, Diane. I was gonna do that. You remember the um, the pasta that keto pasta that um, and, and when I say keto pasta, it's made from eggs and um, almond flour. I mean, I, it, there's a couple more, th and then I make one with spinach, and it all go. I think there's cream cheese too, and it all goes. Hi, Kathy. It all goes in the blender. Mix it all up, that's the only downside, it's loud, but I did one the other day with a blender. So, um, it goes in the blender, you pour it in a pan with some nonstick um, foil, uh, like a cookie sheet, and you let it cook, I think about 10 minutes. You bring it out and then you roll it up and cut it into like fettuccine. I mean, the first time I made it, Doug, Doug wanted, to, I, I made two batches. He wanted to eat all of it. So, um, and I make like a, a Alfredo sauce that's super easy um, with heavy whipping cream and nutmeg and all, um, I'm trying to remember what else, butter I don't know I don't remember what else in it but it's super good you put a little then I make a then I'll take like chicken tender ish you know the breast pieces I'll grill those up with some some garlic and butter olive oil and then um, and then we just uh, top that off with some Parmesan cheese, some fresh Parmesan cheese. It's so good. Hi, Carrie. Right? I know, I'm making myself hungry right now. Or you can use that rotisserie chicken from Costco that I had yesterday and, you know, use that, put it in, saute it a little bit, get it warm, and add some spinach to it. Serve it with some zucchini or something if you want, or a big salad. And that's a hint, guys. If you are on keto or you're doing ketones and keto, hi Jean, is to, if you're hitting a hump or a plateau for weight loss, for fat loss, um, there are a couple things you can do. Carb up is one, I know, I'm telling you to carb up. And that would be a couple times a week where you eat like a half a sweet potato with a, with a big salad and a, a big a steak or something and put smothered in butter, okay? I know it's a horrible thing to have to do, but you can do that. And the other thing is a huge leafy green vegetable salad with um, kale and eggs and bacon and blue cheese and whatever cheese you want and um, eggs and, and you can add some bell peppers and tomatoes. I like cucumbers, cucumbers are very keto friendly. And uh, throw all those in with a blue cheese or a ranch dressing. Make sure they don't have sugar. And um, you will thank me the next day. Just saying. Any questions? No? That's what Nixon would do. No? Okay. It is yummy, Diane. And that's a really good idea. I may do that Monday. It's relieving Tuesday, Wednesday. So if any of y'all need any ketones, you need a 10 day experience pack, you haven't tried it yet, get a hold of me now so I can get these off. If any of my people um, want any of the new flavors, the, I still have Key Limeade, 
I have the new Blue Ocean, which with MCT oil, guys, with our 143, <gasps> so good. I mean, different planet good. Besides, it lights up your brain. So if you haven't ordered our 143 MCT oil, I highly suggest that Cam takes it. Heather, you can have berries, and they should be limited berries, but really, you're not gonna miss it. Once you get fat adapted, and you kinda start, you know, you see the scale moving, you see your clothes getting looser, then you can add some watermelon or cantaloupe. I mean, watermelon is at the high end of, uh, of the scale for sugar, but I mean, I did last summer, it didn't, it didn't stall me at all. You just wanna really be, you know, smart with it. Oh, the key lime, Joanne. It's so good. And it's not, it's not too tart and it's not too sweet. It's so refreshing. And hi, hi Roseanne. Um, some people are adding it to, did you get your package today, Roseanne? I thought I saw that it, it hit. Um, mixing it with some other flavors to just make it like, boom. I haven't tried it with the MCT oil. I need to do that. I think it would be delicious. And then uh, Purple Rain's coming, which is our grape. I know, Barbara, it's really good, really good. And, oh, the White Midnight's coming, which is, which is our Midnight Unleashed 30% more ketones than our original amp, which was twice the ketones and twice the caffeine. So if you need that extra boost, that's a really good one to, to go to. Uh, it tastes like, it's black cherry-ish. I taste a little vanilla in there. Some people say it tastes like uh, one of those red and blue slurpees or something. Um, it's got some berries in it, definitely. So we took the color out. It, was, it wasn't color, but we took the black out because and now it's white or clear. Yay! You ready to get started, girl? You gonna start tomorrow? <laughs> the high pitch. <laughs> hey, hey, of course, the only one that's smart enough not to bark is the St. Bernard. She's like, really? Y'all are annoying. Your work. Bye, babe. Message me. We'll get you some more. Okay, y'all. Think. Oh, one more thing before I go. Because you're here, there's only 10 of you left, right? If you missed my sale, I mean, huge sale, message me. Tell me. Message me and say, I missed your sale. I really want to start on ketones. I got a screaming deal for you if you order online. Screaming. Like, you can't even refuse so only 10 of you but it's only the people that haven't ordered yet okay if you haven't ordered yet and you really want to get started on ketones message me because i will give you a screaming deal monday okay and if you want the reboot and you want some more information you want to find out how to order that and that's where you want to start that is completely okay too um for, you know, 60 hours. What are the beauties, I'm all over the place. What are the beauties about our, um, about a reboot? Is that some people just eat to eat, you know? They think they're hungry and they eat to eat. What reboot will help you with is to understand that you don't need to eat all the time. And you eat when you're hungry. Um, Ketones will do that for you. Ketones will um, help you to, uh, to you reduce your appetite and to help you with those carbs and sugar cravings like nobody's business. Yes, Diana, that's another good reason, a stall. So if you're in a stall and you're a keto life, um, Reboot can really help move you. I went through a really big, um, detox of a different kind um, that went deeper than what my ketones have done. And um, it, it got to my immune system. So I had, I didn't, for me, I didn't see a huge, I don't weigh myself anymore, but I didn't see a huge difference in 
uh, I didn't weigh, but because I was at the lake and I didn't have a scale either. Um, but I didn't see a huge difference that way. But because my body has gone into just fat burning mode and I burn, 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 burn. So I did the reboot for a different reason um, than fat loss. Right? I know. You have to, and that's the thing with ketones is that you have to, um, you're not hungry. About day four, you guys message me and go, okay, I'm not hungry. Is that normal? It's absolutely normal. You'll be standing there going, nothing sounds good. And that will happen for a little while, and then you will get your appetite back, but you will, I want you to only eat when you're hungry, not when, you know, you think it's time to eat necessarily, at least at first. And if you hit a stall, you're gonna wanna eat more, you're gonna wanna add more fat. And that's when you add those fat bombs when you are hungry. If you find, you just like, I am hungry, you wanna go towards the fat. Definitely not the carbs. And the carbs we want you to eat are good carbs. You know, some berries and some fruit, some berries and some fruit, some berries and some vegetables. And stay with those leafy green vegetables that have a lot of color. Okay, you guys have any more questions? Okay, I'm gonna go put this in the oven. I will post the recipe in this under this video, and then I will um, I will post the picture of it uh, in on the on this under here, and then I will also post it on my Facebook page. And if you guys would be so so kind as to share this, um, I think I'm gonna have a little contest, a little giveaway. What do you guys think about that? You too, Car. Okay, I'm out. This may be dinner, who knows? It's really heavy, it's dense. Okay, y'all, thank you.